So I do this thing, I always feel like I sneak attack the fish. It's probably me thinking that, it's not real, but uh, I come down here in this back section and I fish this little inlet. It's notorious for holding big fish. And the reason I like to do that is because I think they can hear my footsteps. They know somebody's coming. There's fish all the way up in here. So I'm going to throw right down the middle of this inlet. But if I catch a fish, I'm going to have to run up and get them because I don't think this 12-pound braid is going to hold up well. Love the sound of that water. Hop it up over the hard stuff. Try not to mess up my lure because I only have one. Yeah, it's a good cast. Yeah, it's going to throw well on this Royal Legend. There's a fish. Little guy. I'll just drag him on up through here. Alright. Oh, sorry about the rocks, hombre. Okay, my theory is accurate. I probably stand in a better chance of getting these guys in the morning. Hey, what's up everybody? Joe Simpson here. Today I want to talk about fishing and not just fishing baits or fish or how to catch fish or rods and reels, but a way I stay a little more organized and I can travel a little lighter. So these bags right here, this thing right here is really cool. This is made or sold by a company called Daiso in Japan. And I think it's spelled D-A-I-S-O or D-I-A-S-O. I'm not sure which, but I'll send you the link down below in the show notes. So take a look. But what I do is I take these pouches and uh, I put my lures in them. And I only put a couple or two or three lures in, in there at one time. And then I'll throw all those little pouches in a bag and take it with me. So I'm not carrying like these clunky tackle boxes and backpacks and things like that. Um, the way I found out about it was my daughter had a little program where she went over to Japan with her school and she went there and brought back some stuff from their dollar store which is named Daiso and brought me one of these bags and said hey you want one of these and I was like sure and I, I was trying to think what I would use it for and then I started putting my frogs in there and I ended up loving it so I thought man I wish I could have like 15 more of those and so her and I went on the website and found Daiso and sure enough you can order them right out right online and, and get them right to your house it take about two weeks to get and they're not super for cheap dollar fifty dollar twenty a bag something like that maybe less depending on the size but you got to pay 15 20 bucks for shipping so you might want to buy quite a few of them just to make sure but uh, they're really useful for a lot of things so let me show you some of the things I use it for I got my GoPro or Sony in here and I throw it in here that way if I throw it in the boat or drop it in the bottom or drop it in the mud it's not getting messed up it's these aren't waterproof but they are rubber vinyl and they've got like a mesh reinforcement so they're really tough and you're not gonna do a whole lot of damage to anything that's in here, at least from a moisture liquid spill standpoint. It's gonna be pretty resilient. Now, if you throw it in the lake, water will get through the zipper, water will get through the seams, but it'll take a little while. So at least you have a, a fighting chance. Um, here, and the thing I like about this, you see how you can see through these? You can actually see the baits you have. Here's some square bills. I know packing your baits like this with the treble hooks and such, it's gonna be a little harder to get things in and out. Um, but it still makes it easy to pack up a couple of lures at a time. So here's uh, jigs and chatter baits. Um, let's see, here's my frog pouch. I've reduced it, I've just covered more ground. I've got like poppin' frog, a couple ema frogs, a Buddha frog, a tickle sprinker frog. But you can see into this, so that's really great. Um, here's my popper topwater pack. I've got big poppers, little poppers, a rat. Um, you can also do terminal tackle, hooks, sinkers, all in one bag. You can do worms in the bigger bags, and you can do bags inside of bags. You know, I got some Kitex, some big O's. So it's a little geeky, I get it, but um, it really helps me stay organized, and they pack down really good and flat. When you're going fishing with your square bills, you don't have to grab your square bill tackle box and take 30 of them. You can say, I like this one, this one, and this one, throw it in a pouch, put it in your backpack, or put it in your fishing uh, bag, or whatever you're using. Just take it with you, it makes it a lot easier. So check those out. Also check out a couple fish catches I had this morning, and I should be out with Pat this week on the boat. I'm gonna be out on another day, on Sunday, on the boat with my friend Chris, and he's gonna try to fly fish off the front of that little boat. So I think I'm gonna end up with a pier steer, but we'll see what happens. Five in the morning. Good morning, everybody. 
what is going on. So how is it that I'm out here fishing at 5, 5, 20, 5.30 on a Wednesday morning? Well, I couldn't sleep, so here I am. So I think I'm going to be a one-dimensional fisherman today. I'm strictly here this morning for a topwater bite, <clears throat> but I'll bring my bag just in case. All right, so the bite I'm going for this morning, I've been to these two ponds the last couple of weeks. I haven't pulled a good fish out of here. Pat got a good one, I'd say about a week and a half, two weeks ago, or a week ago. He got a decent frogfish out of here. But I think one of the things I'm most happy about is having my Cast King spinnerbait rod back. Now I'm using it for topwater today, but I just love this rod. It's a seven foot rod. And uh, it's, a, it's a medium fast tip. And uh, just love it. Love it. Make a whole bunch of noise clearing my throat. I had a dream last night that a snake came into my kitchen, curled up at me, and then ran off. Kind of freaked me out. It's a good cast, actually, right there. I'm way out there. That fish right there, boys. Drag's not a bad thing. It's a good fish. Oh, yeah. Early morning. Popper action. Okay, on the bank. Yes, sir. That's a good fish. Look at that. Wow. Uh, that's a good one. Probably the same frogfish that Pat caught the other day. Look at that, you're two and a half solid. Maybe more, maybe more, he's heavy. He's got a scale, let's scale him up. Two pounds, two one, and he's off. That was a slow release. Two pounds, one ounce with a wiggle. It's a two pounder. I'm off on my weights. I'm like, oh, it's two and a half. Two and three quarters. Didn't mean to let them fall off that scale like that. So I'm gonna finish this line right here and I'm gonna shoot around the back corner where I can get a couple more Mo Betta casts. I swear to God, I went to a meeting one time when I worked for a housing company. We went out to Vegas and a guy did a speech I swear to God, he pulled up a PowerPoint and it said Mo Betta Pie. M O B E T T A Pie. And I was like, oh my God, I can't believe I'm watching this. This guy sat there and would, would sit there and go, uh, it's not about this, it's not about that, it's about Mo Betta Pie. So basically, he was just, he was trying to be funny, talk about gaining market share. <clears throat> it was probably the most insulting thing I've ever seen. and. and I mean, I don't know, it was just really bad. It was one of the worst things I've ever seen in my professional life. It was so embarrassing. I sat there like looking around at everybody going, Really for real? Is this guy actually this is his this is his big move? But yeah, that that was yeah, that happened. Unreal. So let's see what we can get over here. I'll give it a few minutes. Let's try one good cast out there. That could be the location you want right there. I'm going to work this one patiently. <clears throat> up the slack, take up the slack. Oh, that's a good fish, guys. That's a good fish. He swam right up there for me. Wow, he's a beast. He's a beast. He's going to be another two. I'm going to let him, let him get it out of his system. If we get him now. I think I got him right in the eyeball. Sorry, buddy. The G Finesse hung on. Now, let's see how much he weighs. Another two pounds, two pounds, one ounce. That 
scale is question, making me question reality here. That's a that's a big fish. It's a good one. So if I can get him back in the water without getting into some quicksand. All right, there he goes. Wrong way, wrong way, bro. Go the other way. He is good to go. You guys take care, and I hope this helped you. And take a look at the site linked below. See if it's something you're interested in. And if you're doing something similar with a different type of bag, would love to hear about what you're doing. Thanks. Yeah.